understanding will choke you just now. How much be the food we're on at the shop for Shanty Town? Time time. 365. But time sum again, rent for Shanty Town. All the treatment where I they give you, bro, I bought shop. Security. Your rent for Shanty Town. Your money now, 15 million. Prof. that he sat me down on a Saturday morning, one on one, and told me, said, You, I will kill you. To be honest, for me, Netflix's biggest praise was allowing Nigerians make movies and series that we want to make. And on the flip side, their biggest mistake was not knowing that our audience are the worst. We are brutal for no reason. Take for instance this movie that we all tore apart. I don't know what's going on with the director at the moment, but I'm sending him prayers. <laughs> but hey, Netflix is here and we love it. Shanty Town is a new series that has mixed reviews. It has all the elements to make a very long-lasting good series. It has a Action. It has RMD. It has girls. Did I also mention that it has RMD? What do I think of it? I'm sorry guys, you have to wait to the very end to know my opinion. Like this video, comment also, please try and subscribe, show a friend, it's not going to cost you anything. And yes, a rolling through. For some reason, this show refused to name the episodes, so I'll be doing them a favor and naming all the episodes. Episode 1 will be named Logos. Giant Creative Media. Nice sound effect. It is aggressive, but nice. Champion 1 Entertainment. I definitely will not get tired of that sound. Ah, the series is about to start. Um, Minimum Empire Productions. Okay, now guys. Now the real series is about to start. Eh? What is Shangisha? Is that like an Indian production house or something? The series starts off in Shangisha community in 2004. We see a woman telling her kids to pray as soon as they woke up because they need God at this point. The village gets attacked immediately. And you know this because someone magically threw a bomb. Oh yeah, pray for us. May God bless us today. I have a theory about who threw this bomb because I know the person is an idiot. But we'll talk about him later. Then this man came into their house and he did not want money but he wanted to have his way with the kid's mother. And I have an issue with this because his priority is not straight. He needs therapy. They are actually raiding the whole community. It is stupid for you to want this now. But thank God for a good Samaritan, they were saved. And as they were trying to escape with a boot, some people were not lucky. The man who helped them got shot. One of the kids got shot. <laughs> But with his last breath, he pushed the boot to save them. Honestly, you are doing the most. You should just die in peace, you are doing the most. They got caught, so your sacrifice was useless. And this is where the real series starts. 18 years go by and the next thing we see is... Okay. Um, blow the whole thing. <laughs> Mute the audio also, please. All you need to know is that Skye is a bad man and Ashanti is a ruthless babe. What's her Instagram? Oh no, I want to see something. Big it was Instagram. Okay, so this car guy runs this underground drug ring slash Olusho hub named Shanty Town. It's like Silicon Valley for prostitutes. It's a rundown ghetto that any noise can get you shot. The population is actually scary. They have more prostitutes than civilians. Not that the prostitutes are not civilians, but you get what I mean. But he doesn't run this alone. He also has a boss named Chief Fernandez. On the other end of the world, we have Amanda, aka Inem, a conk drug dealer and prostitute that was caught and now released from prison on good behavior. I smell cap. No Nigerian has left prison on good behavior. Need a few things before I leave. What do you need? A pack of cigarettes and the gum. Please. Yeah, sure. But I like Amanda because even though she smokes, she uses gum and that's a very good trait. Any doctor will tell you the only way to stop liver failure is if you smoke five sticks, you take five gums. That will even the odds. Yes. Amanda, call me in a that's not about the way she speaks. Okay, back to Shanti. Ene and Mama T are the OGs of this place. Ene is like a cleaner person and Mama T is their resident witch. And also, sometimes she does healing. But the sad part is that no matter how good her healing is, she can't heal her cough. 
The episode was mostly introducing various characters. Jackie, for instance, gained their freedom and is finally ready to leave Shanty Town. I love how they treat this place like it's like IT they are doing here, and when they are done, they would go out to the real world and excel. But when you come up for a year, if you go outside, you're gonna say you see something. <laughs> the more you stay here, the more you become like them. Inem and Scar have a weird relationship. She was put in prison because of him. So Inem is pissed and Loki wants to deal with him. And they tried to send her somewhere else so she would come back to Shanty Town. What did they do so? But no matter how much they love this place, Shanty Town is still hell on earth. You think I'm lying? Jackie, for instance, who just got her freedom, tried to help Shalewa with money so she can also leave and finally start her bar business. She's a mixologist. To be honest, I'm not lying. Mixologist is just a lot of words. You be barman. Wait with mixologist. Shalewa then goes to Scar to pay off what she owed him. And honestly, the mass use here would scare anybody. Understanding will choke you just now. How much be the food when I they shop for Shanty Town? Time Sam, three sixty five. So time Sam again rent for Shanty Town. All the treatment where now they give you go abortion, security. Your rent for Shanty Town. Fifteen million. Talk that he sat me down on a Saturday morning, one on one. I told me, said you, I will kill you. And that's how episode one ended. Just a really sad scene, honestly. I will name episode two P Square. In next school, and that's what I'm going to be calling her once in a while in this whole review. So get ready for that. She comes back to praises from her girls. They haven't seen her in ages, so this was nice to see. Then when one touched Ashanti, she beat him up in slow motion, and that was nice. No one should ever touch that girl. Do you know what her mouth can do to me? So to, to the world. Eh? But now we know she learned a lot in prison, from the gum trick to beating men and even inspirational speech. I think you see now where you don't free. All the things where you don't learn for the Santi. Carry and go far. Go live your life. It's not IT. No one is learning anything here, man. Why do they keep doing this? You see, Scar isn't the overall boss. I said that earlier. He works for someone. And the Scar you fear now is a different man when he sees his boss. Papa. Olori Ogun. Olori Ile Aje. Ah, Olori Ebi Gogo Ile Odua. Baba mi. Chief Fernandez is a very rich man. He actually has like old money. His main aim is to rule Nigeria in a calculated way. He then goes on and on about the history of his forefathers and how they founded a co we turned into Lagos. And then he went on and on about him eating the fattest meat. Talk about egotistic. It's a lot to be honest and I can't comprehend so that's how I'm just gonna say it. How about Harry? Baba. Can I trust you? He asked him to stop this ice aged business. I don't know what that is. And when he tried to question his boss, this guy with glasses whooped his ass. Like he beat him like a baby. It was sad to see. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Scar was so dumb, honestly. Once he saw the guy had a tuxedo, he should have let him be. No one in their right state of mind buys tux to do bodyguard work. Shaliwa, the lady with the 15 million debt, meets P Square and was sane, and I was shocked. I would have lost my mind. How was she just so composed? She told him not to take that drink because it's cheap. Then she offers to make him a better mix, but he has to pay. She says something like 15 or 10k. He agrees because he's P Square. He sang all the songs that I love. That drink where you offered is definitely not African soup. Well, I kind of know my cocktails. And this right here is my favorite. And since she wants to own a bar, she actually knows a little bit about drinks. She mixes a lot of two CLs. It was like, ooh, two CLs of this, two CLs of that. And then you shake it and you lick it. Honestly, shouldn't have licked it but oh well what went through his mind was how does she know all these things and all i can say mr p square is that she learns this in shanty town remember they are all it students from unila femi Femi Fernandez. Shut up, P Square. I know you. As she was dancing and doing things with P Square, something tragic was happening. So Jackie's um, top part, because I don't want YouTube to cancel this video, was caught 
separate from her body. Does that make sense? I guess it does. But this happened to Jackie because she decided to leave IT. Then Enne did like the cleanup slash removing of organs because I think they would sell it. I don't know what is going on in Town. They have like multiple streams of income. Scar who did this disgusting thing won't be smiling for long because shortly after this ordeal, his boss got rammed, his men got popped and I was trying to rhyme but he was knocked out. Episode 3, we will call it feminism. Watch how I get cancelled in this episode. Okay, what has happened so far? Scar kidnapped, Jackie dead, P Square knocked, Inesco bad. The conflicts, I mean. Scar's first problem isn't that he was kidnapped, but it was that a woman did it to him. I swear if I catch you, oh no. Well, just come out this bank for my hand first, man, man, man. Or what? You die all along, I will f you. This guy doesn't know about the feminist movement. He isn't on Twitter. Some might say he is lucky. When he noticed that she was his boss, he apologized, calling her your excellency. She told him all Fernandez's plans and he was amazed on how she knew it. But I wasn't. Have you ever seen that man talk? He can't stop talking. Then she went on the feminist rant about not knowing Fela's backup dancers and how she wanted to do the do with them while smoking. And all I hope is that they have gum because it evens the odds. My doctor told me this guy. But the whole speech was just to recruit him, promising him three times of what Chief would have given him. And as that was happening, Shalewa would be fighting for her life. She left Peace Square after their fiery session. And I think she forgot who she slept with. His house was massive. She passed like five doors and she was not even downstairs. She was then caught by his dad, O Square, you get? Because before P is I'm funny, man. He did a lot here. I mean, a lot. I can't even show you what he did. It's just blood. I'm sorry, guys. But you've watched it, so you know what I mean. Back to Scar. Okay, this is what Femco wants. Femco means feminist coalition. Am I counseling? <laughs> she wants to kill O Square and not by going through his son, since O Square only cares about his ambition and no one else. And that right there was what made Scar join her. Scar then tells her about his ring and how he used the blood of seven virgins and seven milf. Okay old women i'm sorry guys going on to tell her that the ring gives him protection so he decides to steal it for her just buy her simple i swear mama after that, he goes to meet Inem and they have like this weird conversation about loyalty and how he left her to rot in jail and bam, they started making out and I was confused, like what's going on there? Then he tried pimping her to tell her like, what is going on here, guys. She got angry because he wanted to take 25%. What is happening? Then they kissed again. Come on, guys. Can someone tell me what's happening here? It's too much my brain can't comprehend. I'm in. Oh, she was playing him all along. Wow. Then the episode ends with NF feeling threatened by Inem's return and she wants Scar to kill her. Episode 4. We call it O Square. You, you will know why soon. <laughs> Subscribe now, please. <laughs> Straight friend. Inem starts her informat business after that fiery session with Scar. But one thing she did not know is that the girls all use coke for extra freedom. They want to be loose. It makes them loose. I just hope they are chewing gum. Because my doctor said that it stops liver. So this is how the club works. The wealthy men bid for the girls and all they have to do is dance seductively for them. By doing this, Inem was able to get the attention of O Square. Inem gets into this red room that looks like a TikToker's room. You know what I mean? Renegade, Renegade. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know who I am? You are O Square. We know you. He squares that. Now, this is where things go dark. You see, O Square is a nasty man. He doesn't like it the normal way. It's like what you think Fifty Shades would look like if it was made in Nigeria. He's an actual R word. You know what I mean? He prefers the other whole. You see why I call him O Square? Okay, as that was happening, Scar was plotting her. Scar gives Shaliwa an ultimatum. If she does this one job for him, her debt will be paid completely and she will be allowed to go and do her mixologist business. But Shaliwa only knows how to sleep with men and she kept on saying, Who are gonna? Who are gonna? Wash arm, where, where, make it trust you. Mm hmm. After you trust me, I go with them. How much? Shut up! They give her touch and follow and for the Americans that don't know what touch and follow is, it's like this known ritualist thing where they will touch you and tell you to go to your family house and bring your family valuables and um, this has happened to a few of my friends and um, so I believe it works. It can happen to me because our family doesn't have valuables. <laughs> I'm the only valuable person here. Yeah? 
So that's the job Shaliwa is given. The episode ends with Inem taking pictures of confidential files and also stealing a chunk of money. Episode 5 was short in terms of content, so we'll name it Inesco, the conflicts. <laughs> P Square decides to take Shaliwa out, making it easy for her to steal the ring. Get away, people they manage, it reach your turn. Uh, you won't come data. <laughs> Moving on, the show finally explains to the viewers that Inem isn't Inem but her twin. And all this while we thought she was working with the police as an informant, but she wasn't. She's actually a detective. But now she wants to burn down Shanty Town for killing her sister. And that's all we know so far. After this, she comes back to Shanty Town and gets in trouble with Scar because of the money she stole earlier. But Scar doesn't know she stole the money. So someone then set up Jagon. That's his name, right? The same person that they beat up in slow motion in the other episode and Scar wasted no time in killing him. It was blood. Inesco then gets the greatest scare of her life. Oscar wants to meet her again. Uh oh, uh oh. She got scared but Scar was able to calm her down by reminding her of her past and how he protected her and reassuring her that O Square won't do anything to her. Oh, again? <laughs> Scar, you're an idiot. The real Inem is dead. If you were protecting her, she won't be dead. Then Scar and Oscar meet but because Scar did not burn down the Ice Age boss, he decided to cut off his finger. After that, a big discovery was made, so at Jackie's final moment, she was able to send a recording to Shalewa. Uh, uh, she sent me voice note. More plan, more here. They write a do the trial, beg, let her go talk. And since Shaliwa couldn't use the jazz, Scar then decided to do it by himself. Episode 6, which is the final episode, and Loki the hardest to understand, but that's why I'm here, I will call this episode Stunt Crew. Inem tries her best to calm down Shaliwa, but did it in the worst possible way because all she was just shouting is Make her take up, make her, make her, make her, make her, make her, make you hold yourself, I beg. Just go, they go, they go. I beg, you know, for my hand, I think God beg you, I beg. I beg. I beg, Shaliwa, I beg. Just go. Inesco then goes to talk to Ene about why she helped her out earlier with the money even though Ene knows that Inesco stole the money. Then she exposed Ene by telling her that she knows she had a hand in Jackie's death and Ene did not like this. She pulled out a gun but she failed to realize that Inesco was trained by the Nigerian police so she's skillful. Oh, you guys thought I would make a joke about our police? Never! Then we finally hear the full story. I was rescued by one of the fishermen and taken to an orphanage. Adoption saved my life. The story goes like this. Inem was the one that made it out of the Indian town Shinganjiga. <laughs> I don't forget the name. He was sure the one that was attacked in the first episode. And yes, that was her father. No wonder he was doing the most. It was from her dying lips I heard about Shantytown. I mean, the DSS already had an ongoing operation. My person give her a wig now. As this was happening, P Square came back with the ring and Shaliwa successfully removed the jazz and then this happened. Thanks to the most professional hidden camera, they were able to have a lead and that was O Square's second hand. I have to be honest, this scene was a mess. We don't send picture and location come your phone. If you want your ring and your son in one piece, a Bobby. They sent O Square a location to meet them up since they have his ring. He gets there and was surprised that Scar turned on him. But he was prepared. Moments ago, he was able to put on his jazz. They tried to kill him, then we see actual good jazz at work. Then a shootout starts. Guys, hang in there. This is going to be a lot, but just hang in there. And someone randomly throws a grenade. I believe it's the same idiot from episode one. Remember, remember that guy? Does this guy just have unlimited bombs that he's just throwing up and down? We first see some crazy things that shouldn't make it on Twitter. Two guys randomly beating up a girl. Oh, plot twist, the girl starts beating them back. Now, this is definitely going to make Twitter. <laughs> they shot Colorado good. That guy had like five lines, 29 different times in the whole series. He was just saying the same thing. What are you doing? Buddy, they pepper me. And Scar got a new Scar. <laughs> On, on his stomach but he's not dying because no, no one can kill that guy honestly a lot happened and i don't know who is who who is the police who is this guy's man who is that guy's man i don't know they are all wearing black can we at least have like color coordinated one wears blue the other one wears pink so would 
Uh, don't cancel me. I said pink and I meant the women. <laughs> Sky was fighting for his life in slow motion for some reason, only shouting, ah! up and down and this random babe was cutting rod in half like actual half is that even possible for humans sky won his fight thank god he remembered he had a knife stuck in his shoe another girl came to fight this babe since all the guys can't beat her for some reason oh wait that's in them what I thought it was a random babe. Remember I said they should have had like color coordinated like fight scenes. I don't know who was who. The police finally made it to the building even though they had entered this exact building 10 minutes ago. Are you okay? Are you hot? I'm good. Just get me to safety. It's okay. It's <clears throat> okay. Let's okay. Let's go. At the end, Scar got stabbed by his IT students and they went back to uni like. Instead of getting actual warrants to take O Square to jail, they played a R scene to the masses. Who gave these guys badges? You have the right to remain silent. For whatever you say, can and will be used against you in the court of law. Does she know this statement goes both ways and the fact that he played this to the whole world is dumb. Technically, that means they came before him, plugged it to the monitor, waited for him to start his speech, then played the video and arrested him. Wonderful. After that, I'm, I'm just done. They had like this end card note. I'm not going to read it. Um, you guys can pause and read it. Um, Sha, uh, Scar did not die. So now let's talk about the things I like. Firstly, Scar. I feel the series missed a mark with him. He was genuinely scary and a great character. Probably more scarier than Makanaki. I'm sorry to even compare, but I, I mean it. The only issue is that he was never really established. We only got a hint here that his mom knew O Square. And, but like they never really went in depth. So like his motives were never really explained. They had something here, but they just missed it. I liked a lot of things and a lot of people. Obviously, you know, I like uh, Mashanti. I love her. <laughs> the fight scenes were bad. I get what they wanted to do with the Jack and Chan effect and how all his movies used to end with this grand fight scene. But it just had bad angles, good choreography, but it wasn't shot well. It was static. That was why they had to use a lot of slow motion to convey effects. It uh, was weird, man. Then it was like stupidly unbalanced why would they give characters like strong abilities of like cutting rod then she would have killed O Square earlier it made no sense if you can do that to two guys how did O Square win <laughs> they had something big going on for them and I loved a lot of things Shatty Town looked real place where only outlaws reside it's nice and I love that and I feel they were successfully able to make this place seem very scary and I feel the script did a lot also to an extent but just a lot of errors that I can't and just overlook. It was good and not good at the same time and mixed. What do I want to see in season 2? Ashanti baby! <laughs> That's all I want!